Good evening, everyone. Good evening. It is Tuesday, March 6, 2019. I'm David Guerra, and this is Let's Have a Chat. Well, it's Tuesday in the Tuesday calendar, it says. It's in the news. We're talking about leadership in the news. So tonight, I'm going to go a little off the norm of what I've been doing and kind of talk a little bit about personal leadership, personal growth, personal development, personal, well, just becoming a better person personally on the inside. And how is this tying with the news? Well, you know, you can just look everywhere. There's always an example, uh, national news, international news, local news in your neighborhood. Probably there's something going on right now that you see as well. Somebody's lack of leadership, somebody's lack of initiative, somebody's lack of ethics, morals, And it goes on and on and on and on and on. And I know it's easy to point the finger. However, it's sometimes just too easy to point the finger because again, they do something so crazy, so stupid that they end up in the news. They end up in the news. And this past weekend, it's it's like this. There was a shooting and it was at a home and it was considered domestic violence and that's usually what happens in the home. It wasn't a break-in or anything. It was this one individual, male, and he uh, he has a federal job, and the job uh, uh, allows him to carry a sidearm, and that job also deals with you know running up and down the border, making sure things are secure and safe. Okay, so we got that. And then we have a female, and they're cohabitating, meaning they're both living in the same place. But my understanding is that, uh, well, she was trying to bring it to an end, bring the relationship to an end. And my understanding is she had a couple of children prior to being with this guy, and together they have one child. And uh, apparently as part of the breakup, uh, somehow something happened in the sense that the gentleman, uh, the individual, the male individual, had a... uh, had the child in one arm and uh, the weapon was drawn, a weapon was drawn and uh, discharged twice, at least twice, striking the female two times in the upper torso. Uh, it's my understanding she's in critical condition and she, but she'll be all right. They expect her to come out of this okay, barring any unforeseen situation. But uh, again, so now this, this joker here, he's now charged with, um, uh, attempted murder and uh, what was that called? I forgot what it was called, but basically because there was a child in, endangering the child because there was a child involved or in that room and that same in this case it was in his arms uh, when the and this is what the police reports are saying. So again, I wasn't there. I don't know, but that's what I do know is I'm just conveying that. So again, okay, so that's the picture. That's what's going on. It's occurred at three o'clock in the morning. Now I understand. There's a time and a place for everything, and three o'clock in the morning is definitely not the time to be breaking up with somebody, uh, unless it's you know it's you're out, something's crazy, something's gone on, and it's like you know what, that's enough. But out in public, in your own home, yeah, I understand. There's extenuating circumstances. I get it. You know, I'm married. I have I have kids. I have a daughter. I have a son. And so I'm trying to put myself as, as, as the dad in that situation. Well, what would I tell my daughter if that was what was going to happen? If she was going to be breaking up and say, you know what? Call me. I'll be around. I'll stop by. And, uh, that. But again, the personal leadership comes on the other side, not just, and I'm not blaming anybody because I don't know the details. But what I do know is that on the other side, the, the male part of this, he was given a weapon as part of his job. That's what he was trained to do, is to use the weapon as part of his job. He was off duty. There's no excuse for drawing your weapon off duty unless it's to protect life, not to make your case and not to, you're not breaking up with me and I'll, no, that's just nonsense. And again, um, it's terrible that it, it happens and stuff like that happens all the time, but they got him. He's under arrest, he's in jail, $800,000 bond, the whole nine yards. They got him. The kids are safe, they're all with relatives, so uh, all of that. But again, folks, this individual, the the female that was shot, my understanding, is a a teacher and a well-liked teacher, and I know this because my daughter was in her class when my daughter was in high school. And the well-liked teacher, well-respected teacher, and... Now, when she comes out of this, I hope and I will encourage and I will do everything I can to encourage her to turn this 
this situation, this bad thing that happened to her into a good thing by inspiring and talking to other other kids, other high school kids. Because that's where it begins. That's where it begins. If it's tolerated in high school, the boyfriend doesn't want to break up and then the domestic violence happens in, in the relationship, then guess what? It's going to continue and it's going to fester. But that's why she has to step up and say, you know what? No, we're all going to learn from this. We're all going to benefit from this. We're all going to be better because of this. And it just didn't just happen to her. But at that moment, it happened to all of her kids because now they see the actions and the reactions of domestic violence firsthand. Now these kids know someone, someone they look up to. And but it's also going to be a teachable moment. And that's where the leadership kicks in, folks. That's where the personal growth comes in. Just because that happened, you can take it, spin it, and turn it into something good. Yeah, that guy's going to serve time. I guarantee it. Um, I mean, well, you know, again, I can't guarantee. But if he does, if he comes out guilty and he's found guilty and he's or he pleads himself out, which is probably the best thing for him to do, and do some time, he'll get his because, well... I'll leave it at that. But what I'm getting at is she can turn this negative into a positive. There's no there's no two ways around it. She has to because, again, children look up to her. Young women look up to her. They see her as a role model. My daughter sees, still sees her as a role model. And my daughter was devastated when she heard what happened, but she was also relieved that she's going to be fine. But something's got to get done. And enough's enough. And if we start in high school, then we can go back down to middle school. Then we get down to the elementary level. And it's got to happen. The conversation has to take place. Because again, that's you become a strong person. You become well-rounded. That's what school is supposed to do. But it's also not supposed to allow things like domestic violence to permeate and to grow and to fester and to allow it to go on to adult life. So with that being said, count on me reaching out to this individual when she gets back to work and uh, saying, hey, it's time to do something. As a dad, as a parent, um, you know, I'm not going to allow it in my family. I'm not going to allow it in my home, and it should not be happening at school. And if we can all work together to do that one thing to ensure it doesn't happen again in high school or later on in life because of the actions taken now, then I'm all for it, and I, I would really appreciate if she would. Now, if there's anybody else out there, then by all means, let's step up. Let's work together as parents. It's our job to ensure that our kids' safety comes first. I love my kids, and I know other parents love their kids too. And I know that, that the teacher's dad loves that teacher, and I know that you know, the parents of, of that that um, that man, um, I'm sorry, that male um, you know, they love them too, because again, that's the kids. But again, um, it, it's rough. I, I, I don't even know. I don't, I can't consider him. I don't call him a man. I can't do it, but he's still a male and he's a human being and he has his issues. He's now going to have to deal with. And unfortunately for her, she's got these issues that now are brought straight to her. And, uh, with that being said, folks, if you see something, say something. If it's happening to you, call for help. If you're that one that's just right on the edge, trust me, there's a lot of people out there that'll take your call just to hear from you and just to say, hey, look, I'm on the edge. Here's my situation. And it doesn't have to get to that extreme that that male did where he felt he was man enough to pull a gun and discharge his weapon and strike a woman who was defenseless because she didn't have a firearm to defend herself. No matter the situation, so she wants to break up, break up. It's fine. Maybe it's for the better. Maybe for both of you, it would have been for the better. But now for him, we'll never know. But then again, hey, you know, we'll never know. But for her, she can turn this this lemon into this the biggest lemonade that there is, biggest glass of lemonade that there is. And for everyone else, again, just because it's happening doesn't mean it has to continue. So please, please reach out, ask for help. If there's a situation you know you're gonna get yourself into, call a friend, call a family member, call your dad, call your mom. Let them know, hey, look, here's what's happening and I need you to be around. You know, trust me, 
The moment my daughter calls and she says, Dad, I need to do something about this situation, I'll be there. I'll be there, no doubt about it. And the same thing with my son. Dad, I need help with this. Let's go. Because again, and I understand not all parents can do that. Not all friends will always be there, but do something. Think it through, plan it out, and anticipate the worst. Because again, we never know what human beings are capable of. I guarantee you she wasn't expecting that when she told him that she wanted to break up. I mean, I guarantee that was the last thing she was expecting. But again, people do the stupidest things. And so this guy decided that's what he wanted to do. So again, folks, again, I can't reiterate enough. You see something, say something, you do something, something's happening to you, ask for help, reach out. There's people listening. There's people that will help you. My name is David Guerra. Today is Tuesday, March 6, 2019. Have a good evening. I'll talk to you all tomorrow.